We have big news on the NHL waiver wire, including another claim for the Anaheim Ducks, and we have a total of 45 additional players on waivers as well. We'll discuss who's on waivers and how this claim worked coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have some pretty uh, important news from the NHL. Big news on the NHL waiver wire. Uh, the Anaheim Ducks have claimed defenseman Lassie Thompson, who was the former first-round pick in 2019 of the Ottawa Senators. Uh, he was placed on waivers for the purpose of being demoted uh, to the American Hockey League, and he was picked up. So his time in Ottawa after four years of development is uh, is no more. He's now a member of the Ducks. Good pickup for them, in my opinion. Um, I'm not sure he was ever going to get a long-term big role in Ottawa, considering their top four defense now is pretty stacked. The bottom pair was what, what was up for grabs. He's competing with guys like Clevin and Bernard Docker. Of course, they still have Hamannick under contract, too, so that plays a role. Um, it's unfortunate, though, because he does have potential, and I do think he could be an NHL player. I'm not sure he's going to be a high-end NHL player, Time will tell with more opportunity, of course, but after all that time and effort into development a few years in the minors after coming over from Europe, it's um, it's just unfortunate. It's not the greatest asset management, but the Sens were in a predicament this year that this was probably going to happen. Uh, between Thompson, Bernard Docker especially, they couldn't keep both of them on the roster. Um, they have Clevin, who's waivers eligible, or uh, waivers exempt, sorry, Um and then you have Hamannick, and there's a few other guys that are younger too. But um, it's it's unfortunate they weren't able to, to move him and get something in return. Because I think they probably saw, you know, the way things were going, this was going to be a case where he may not be able to grab a, a regular role. But it's uh, it's good for Anaheim. It's not good for Ottawa. Obviously, they're still looking to make room to get Pinto signed. And uh, I thought maybe Thompson could have been one of those players added as a sweetener uh, to teams to, to convince them to take a contract on. And he's no longer available to do that. So not the greatest asset management, but it does tend to happen for the best of them. And there's, like I said, there's 45 new players on waivers today. And that could certainly result in some other guys getting picked up too. We'll see. That's It's a long list. Besides the waiver players, we also found out that the Bruins uh, released Alex Chase on from his PTO. So he won't be getting a contract from them. Um, same thing we saw about Nick Ritchie. I don't know if it's still early enough in camp, if other teams will show any interest or not. Um, or if they'll invite him to their camp for the remaining days or what have you. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But at the end of the day, Chase on still a UFA without a contract out there. But on waivers today, and I have a long list here in front of me, so bear with me. But we have the Anaheim Ducks, uh, Trevor Carrick. In Boston, we have goalie Michael DiPietro. In Buffalo, we have Jeremy Davies and uh, Joseph Ciccone. Chicago, we have David Gust, Mike Hardman, and Brett Sini. The Los Angeles Kings have a bunch here, including veteran uh, defenseman Kevin Connaughton, uh, youngster Samuel Fangimo. Um, he's an interesting guy. I wouldn't be shocked if he was maybe picked up. Uh, defenseman Joe Hicketts. Hayden Hodgson, of course, he's the guy who had the big hit and in incident there with Mark Stone a few days ago. Uh, Mikhail Maltsev, Jacob Mouvrer, Steven Santini, Akil Thomas, and TJ Tynan. They've got a lot of interesting guys there. Wouldn't be shocked if one of those players are picked up, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, the Minnesota Wild have Stephen Fogarty, Jake Lugini, Nick Sweeney, and goalie Zane McIntyre available on waivers. The Montreal Canadiens have Leas Anderson and Philip Maillet. The Habs also announced that they're sending David Reinbacher back to Europe to play for the season as well. They also made a bunch of cuts, sent a bunch of other youngsters to, uh, to their uh, AHL affiliate. They also sent Owen Beck back to junior. Uh, including, I think, Joshua Wad, and was one of the more prominent names cut to go to Laval. Uh, the Rangers have goalie Louis Domingue and Mac Hollowell. The San Jose Sharks have forward Scott Saburn and Nathan Todd on waivers today. Uh, the Blues have Will Bitten, Hugh McGing, Matthew Pekka, and Wyatt Kalnachak. The Lightning have Mitchell Chafee, Sean Day, and Philippe Myers. Um, the Canucks have some interesting players here, including Jet Wu. Matt Irwin, Vasily Pod Colson, the former first rounder. Uh, Jack Rathbone, he's another interesting one to me as well. Sheldon Dries and uh, Zach Sachenko. So to me, in Vancouver, Pod Colson and Rathbone are especially interesting. Um, I think Rathbone can play in the NHL. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten more of an opportunity there. Um, I, they also demoted Hirose to the uh, Abbotsford as well. I'm a little surprised. I don't know what the Canucks are doing, like how their decor is going to shape up here to start the season. It may not look the same at the end of the year as it does the start. I'm not sure if they're still going to move Tyler Myers or not, but um, 
interesting here nonetheless, especially Pod Colson. Uh, Pod Colson being a high pick, same as Lassie Thompson, except he was an even higher pick. Uh, be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, Washington has uh, Chase Prisky and Riley Sutter. And the Winnipeg Jets have Jansen Harkins, Jeff Mallant, Christian Reichel, Ashton Sautner, and Dominic Toninato. So that's that's a long list of players, 45 names. Like I said, there's about two, three, maybe four that are the most interesting. I think actually have a chance of getting picked up, specifically the two in Vancouver, Rathbone, Pod Colson, being the, uh, the two most interesting to me. And then maybe a few guys with the Los Angeles Kings, like Fajimo, Mulvare. Uh, You know, there's a trend here, young defensemen getting picked up. I'm a little bit surprised Ty Smith squeaked through for Pittsburgh the other day. And some of these other guys haven't had um, as much luck getting through. So, like I said, it's waiver wire season. It's certainly lots of... Uh, uh, activity we're going to see this continuously here for the next few days the next couple days especially there's going to be a big round of cuts i know a lot of nhl teams want to be pretty close down to their uh close to their nhl roster you're going to see probably some more familiar names uh players with a little bit more experience hitting waivers probably closer to the end of camp which is still you know got a few days left here i mean we're still a number of days from starting the the nhl season i know there's lots of preseason games on uh, on the go here still as well so we'll have to wait and see what happens but uh, yeah lassie thompson to the ducks a uh, big blow for the sends uh not the greatest asset management but i think it was inevitable they were going to lose somebody they just have too many prospects that have been percolating in the system that are not uh, exempt anymore and they just couldn't keep them all so we'll see i just wish that for their sake and the fans sake that we would have saw a trade uh, so that they could have uh, you know gotten something in return and maybe help use one of these prospects like thompson as an effort to create the space they need to sign shane pinto but we'll have to see where that all goes so of course if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe stick around we'll be back later with another news video uh, of course if you can tell here i'm on the road today not in my normal recording spot so things look a little bit different that'll be uh resuming back to normalcy tomorrow but uh for today on the road here with the family so uh, we'll see uh, some hotel videos for today but otherwise yeah uh, stay tuned there's gonna be lots of news coming up on the channel lots more waiver news here over the course of the weekend as well so thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time mm -hmm.